Alright. Long Schlong Silver wants to fight. Very well. Uh, you're probably worth shotgun ammo, huh? Yeah, we'll shotgun you. Wait, no. This is a perfect opportunity to figure out what confusion does. Peasant. He's confused. Uh, Alright, but what happens? Is he gonna stab himself? Uh, that was weird. I didn't attack with him. Huh. So I guess confusion just kind of like puts them down until you hit them. I, I, I can see how that would be useful. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. So like if the party's in really bad shape, you can confuse a boss and then patch them up in the meantime, oh, I should probably, like, eat a grub so you're poisoned. Oh, wait, I just realized there's some synergy with that and your grub, because if the guy is confused and they can't move, <laughs> all that's going to happen is this, they just slowly die. Ooh, synergies. Well, but that poison didn't take, so... That might be a little bit broken. Uh, also, we're getting our butts kicked here. Uh, how about you take that? And actually, I want you to take one as well. Make up that half your health you lost there. Lies and steals. Yeah, see, she would have been in really bad shape. Uh, this guy's pretty bulky. Oh, it was just as well, I guess. It didn't work out with the poisoning, because so we beat him. Gross, this dude smells nasty. Oh, let me guess. It's empty like the treasures always are in those crappy old movies and cartoons. Worse. No way. There's just a note in here. Give me that. Congratulations, if you're reading this, that means you have passed my test and killed me. As a reward, you are now the proud owner of the contents of this chest. That treasure not being treasure at all, but uh, rather all of my debts. By opening this chest, you have been legally binded to paying the total amount of nine hundred dollar dues to my debtors. No take backsies. I think Long Schlong was just sitting here hiding this whole time, so he wouldn't have to pay up, waiting for someone to kill him so he could get out of it. Slim Cram's not going to like this. Too bad it was his idea in the first place. He found a nine hundred dollar due debt, and there's a key in here. Oh, Getty! Found the shrine key. Hey. Well, we could go uh, back now, I guess. Is that what this does? Oh, no, it takes us here. I wasn't done in there. Hmm. Health restored. Okay, so... I kind of want to buy some supplies. I used up a bunch. Man, she really burns through the fish root. Well, we've got so much dough. Maybe I should... How much can I carry? Looks like it goes up to 99. Yeah, might as well. We can afford it. Uh, it's nice to have these on hand for bosses, I guess. When I don't feel the need to defend all the time. And I'm not buying Magnum ammo. Never. Maybe I'll use the Magnum on like, some common enemies or something. Uh, I got wanted to check his corpse. You can't check his corpse. Okay. Oh, that, that was how we get it. Okay. Uh... I don't recall if there was anything I left undone before I talked to him, but... Let me just go back and check real quick. We all know my memory ain't that great. Was that all there was to it for Long Jalong? Did I waste a double amount of time by coming back here? Yeah, it looks like uh, this is just the end of the line. Oh no, that's fine. We can just take the teleporter again. Stupid launch long. Alright. Well, now we can go off to the left here. I mean, we could always go off to the left, but now we can get to this lock here. But what's upstairs? We never went upstairs. Yo! The onion again. I'm gonna shoot the onion. Ow. Fine. 
We did it. No problem. Spinel. Emerald. Not a bin chicken. Do these sausages have anything to make? No. Alright, well. What's through here? Boxes. 300 hope. 300 more hope. Who are you? Finally. Someone wants such a fairly long song. I can get out of here. Yeah, I don't want to brag about her, but that was us. How long have you been here? Honestly, I don't remember. I couldn't even tell you why I'm here. I just ran into Long Long during one of my adventures, and somehow got locked out here. Weird. All I remember now is because he wanted to take this sweet numbering figure from me, and I wouldn't let him have it. Hey, I'm collecting those. I'll tell you what, I won't just give it to you. But as thanks for helping me escape, I will let you have it if you can beat me in mortal combat. I don't know if a figure is something I feel comfortable killing someone for. That's surprising. Well, okay, we don't know how to kill each other. A friendly sparring match then. Done! Done. Oh boy, here we go. I had a feeling this was a secret boss, but, uh, Edmund wants to fight. Alright, uh, hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's try it out. We're gonna try to do the thing. We're gonna poison him, and then we're going to, uh, confuse him. And see if this works the way I think it does. Ow. It didn't take. Poison the man. Nope, still didn't go. Come on. I guess this is one adventure, it's just stocking up on fish food. Oh, he is not getting poisoned. I thought it was 50-50. He's either immune, or I'm just getting extremely unlucky. Okay, yeah, I was just getting extremely unlucky. There's the damage. Alright, so, let's see. Uh, you keep blocking. Well, you need to heal. Like, really bad. Take yellow herb. Roundabout. Ugh. You need a yellow orb too, actually. And now we're going to peasant him and try to get him confused. Aha! He's both! And now we just wait. <laughs> Win by doing nothing. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I wore it off. I was just holding the button. It was taking a long time. Ouchies. Well, shoot. Uh, No, that's fine. Don't worry about it. You just yellow herb. Shin kick. Oh, stop hurting her. She needs to do the thing. I don't want to risk it. Then again, Zod is ahead of the curve. And eh, that's no reason to not be careful. Heal again. Okay, good. You block. Confuse him. Do it. I'm not holding the button. He wasn't confused. Darn it. This is getting costly. Stop attacking Zot. <laughs> he is quite a heavy hitter, though. Which is why I don't feel bad about cheesing these guys as much as possible. Become confused. He's dead. <laughs> Whatever, we got him. Pistol ammo found. Shotgun ammo found. Level 18, level 19. You two are pretty good. Here's the figure I was promised. Cheers, big ears. Right. Uh, you can be so embarrassing, shooty. Ben figure. So where are you going to go now? No idea. I'm sure I will work something out. All right. Was that really all there was to this dungeon? Well, I guess the town was really huge to compensate. I was kind of looking forward to more ruins exploration, but that seems to be it. I will teach you more about our history, the origins of the pig masks, the worship of cured meats, why the sea is boiling hot for oil oil. But we kind of don't remember. Well, that's too bad, guy. Okay, we did it. A job well done. Ugh. I like how we tried to get a paying job and then we actually just got, like, <laughs> a job that put us actively in debt. Episode 3 Sweet Meat Complete. Well, well. Slim. Slim Graham, it's not working out for us. Where do I put Ben? There he is. My fave little gassy boy. I guess I can look at it in the inventory, too. Ben. A collectible Nimbin figure of Ben. It'd look good on a shelf. Yes. Slim Graham. 
All right, city, show me your booty. I mean, bounty. Yeah, about that. I don't like yeah, about that. So we might have kind of actually just inherited a pirate's debt. What do you mean you inherited a pirate's debt? It might be easier to just give you a note rather than try to or to try to and explain. Congratulations! If you are reading this, that means you have passed my test and killed me. As a reward, you are now the proud owner of the contents of this chest. That treasure not being treasure at all, but rather all of my debts. By opening this chest, you open the legally binded fate a total amount of nine hundred dollar reduce my debtors no take backsies. And that's what happened. Ha! Ha ha ha! Oh shit! Well, I'm glad I'm not the, the one that opened that chest. Sucked in, fuckers. God damn it, he's right. It only applies to us. Hapless. This is bullshit. Ha ha ha. I tried to help. How can I know that this is how things would end up? Just try to sleep it off, I guess. Maybe tomorrow things will be better. I have bills to pay, too, you know. Not as many as you do now, though, obviously. Ha ha ha. Fuck. One of these days, I'm going to kill you just like we killed your dead cousin. Oh, I'd like to see you try. I don't know, man. If we can poison and confuse you, it's basically in the bag. Is there any reason to go out of here? No, there still isn't. I don't know why I bought it. Let's go upstairs and we go to sleep. Another episode complete. Health restored. Woohoo! I'm pooped. Time for sleep. Finally, some fresh air. Hmm. I'll go back. I can't step on this square for some reason, but these other squares are fair game. Hmm. There's a heal machine. Hmm. I think this is it. The last stretch of sewer. Beaches and treasure, here I come. I can run inside the sewer, but not outside it. Hmm. I can feel it. Today is going to be a good day. Is it? Are you sure, Shooty? What do you got for us, Graham? It's nice to see you didn't die in your sleep, but I don't have much of anything to say to you without Zot beside you. You really know how to make a boy feel special. Zot, are you out on the balcony? She's downstairs. Down ladder. Hello. Yo, Zot. Hmm. What's, uh... Up? Well, what are you doing down here? And do you ever think about the way grass feels between your toes? Not really. Is that something I should be doing? I'm not sure. I don't have toes, so I can only imagine how it must feel. Well, I can't say I walk around without shoes on very often. You should try it sometime and tell me how it feels. Okay. So it joins the party. Yeah. I prefer not to walk around barefoot, because you never know what might be in the grass. Might be a bug. Might be gross. Alright, who is ready for a completely normal classic style shooting in the catfish adventure? Who no treasure? No ghosts? Nope, just some good old fashioned monster slaying. Sweet! Well I say monster slaying. Alien slaying would be more accurate. Or a kid that looks like an alien. I mean a kid that is an alien. Aliens? Does that mean we are going to Flatwoods? Correct. Cool, I have never shot an alien before. Yes, I'm sure it feels wonderful. The remnants of the Flatwoods invasion have been hanging around the swamp there for decades. How come only now we are being sent to clean them out? Yeah, that is strange. Some politician got in tough, or got in touch. He feels like having the swamp cleansed will increase his chances of getting back into Parliament. I bet I know exactly who it is as well. You don't mean... That creep fish man that keeps following us around. That's the spice. Now get out there and make your country proud. Yes, sir. Wait, what was that you also said about a kid? Oh yeah, what was that about? I don't remember ever saying anything about a kid. I definitely heard you say kid. It's going to be another one of those days. They're all those days. Oh yes, not that one here. Yeah, my country better go make proud. I guess we do. Very well. To the flat words. Flatwoods! Episode 4, Space Swamp. Hey, the old man's back. His hometown. Pair of Plenty. Pair. 
Pear. Well, well, hello, strangers. Hello. Sorry for barging in like this. It's just kind of what we do. Oh, it's fine. We don't get many visitors around these parts anymore. Your little company is always welcome. Especially not many as handsome as you. Aw, oh, shucks. I don't know what to say. Not you. <laughs> There's a compliment for Zot. Do fruits go to heaven? Only if they can get... Er, only if the can get past the pearl e gates. Ah, uh, I, I still got it. One gold. The one gold chests really aren't much. Full of people pairs. What did the fruit say to his girlfriend? We make a nice pair. <sighs> pear jokes. Jokes involving pears. If it's clear and yellow, you got juice there, fella. It was tiny and brown, you were inside of town. Thanks for the, the device to help remember what things. Now there are two exceptions to the rule. You can, or you can stay, Zot, but I'm going. <laughs> oh, that makes, just makes me wonder what the exceptions are. Also, I forgot to check or talk to you twice. So what brings you to Deathwoods anyway? I don't know, I got told there was some kind of creepy kid hanging around the swamp that was causing issues. We are monster hunters, you see, and you can't get much more monstrous than kids. This is true, unfortunately. Uh, I know the kid you were talking about. Little girl, less of the only non-fruity family in the Flatwoods at the time of the invasion. Oh, seriously? You know about it? Well, I know the stories anyway. Most of us would never venture into the swamp to investigate. That place is still full of aliens left over from the, mo or the war, after all. Oh, good. Anything else to say? No, that's it. That was all. That was it. Thank you for the plot details. Good to know. Glad I came back and talked to you. Where are you? No, I'm an eggplant. Yes, I can see that. The way the statue fall, it's crazy. I'm a little bit, you know. Yeah, considering what happened here, that is the least of my issues with this monument. Uh-huh. Ah, flesh peeps. I don't know about flesh peeps, but we are definitely meatier than most people around here. Well, welcome all the same. My name's Lime. I bet you can't guess why. I can't even begin to imagine. I think you might have met a relative of yours in Grit. Oh, cool. He must be my older brother, Levin. I hope he's doing well. He barely gets in touch. He was fine, just working as a barman. Nothing overly exciting. Anything is more exciting than where I can tell you. Or than here, I can tell you. Oh, well, come tell me about your adventure in the swamp when you're done. I would love to hear about it. I will try to remember to do that. The lion wants to talk to me again. I can't believe my people died to save this place. Yet here we are, with a statue to the very beings that wiped everyone out. Yeah, that is a bit strange. I guess now it stands as a monument to remind us that death can come from anywhere. Piece of shit aliens. We're gonna kill some aliens and get them back. Mango magic. Mango magic. Howdy, folks. Aw, you seem nice. Ain't nothing nicer than a big juicy mango. It's true, mangoes are the holy grail fruits. Amen. Amen. I don't think I've ever had a mango, to be perfectly honest. I don't know what they're like, so I can't say. Full of mango chutney. Where did the mango go? I don't know. The mango goes where the mango goes. If you don't appreciate fruit puns, you need to let that mango. Boy. You found one gold. I guess this game is going to let me go. Oh. You! Ah, oh, yes! Exterminators, really. Monster exterminators. Do aliens count as monsters? That's, uh, hmm. Yeah, I guess, kind of. Cool. Cool. My dad's old farm is up ahead in the swamp. What's left of it, anyway? I was a baby when I escaped with my mother. They didn't make it. Can't imagine there's much of the farm left nowadays. I miss it, the old farm. At least I think I do. Well. Pineapple passion. Green herb. Oh, it's a pineapple. You already made that one. SpongeBob is on TV. All because of one lyric. Who lives in a pineapple. Under the pineapple. We can walk on your tub for some reason. Hey, cool. A pineapple man. A pineapple man is not as cool as pineapple on pizza. I'm telling you now. Pineapple on pizza. Get out of here. Pineapple on pizza. What's wrong with you? You're the one that doesn't like pineapple on pizza. What's wrong with you? So, uh, welcome to my house, I guess. 
If you're having a ham and pineapple pizza and there's no actual pineapple on it, then you are doing it wrong. Why would I get a ham and pineapple pizza if pineapple doesn't even belong on pizza? You're an animal! Hi, my name is... You can't call me an animal, you pineapple on pizza praising heathen! Suck my fishy ass, you gun-toting muppet! Never mind. It's okay, I'm pretty sure your name is Pineapple. Incidentally, I don't think I've ever had pineapple on pizza. I don't know if I would really like it. I'm not super fond of pineapples in general. Like, their taste is okay, but they're a little tough to chew. Greener found. I don't like chewy things. Why did the banana go out with the prune? Because he couldn't find a date. Huh. Why do bananas wear suntan lotion? Because they peel. Mm-hmm. What is the easiest way to make a banana split? I cut it in half. Yeah? Chew. Huh? Chew! What's up with this banana? Chew! It doesn't seem like it can talk. I guess it just hangs around here looking cute. Chew! Chew, chew, chew! Aww. It's a banana chew. 